What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We just got back our PlayStation 5 from repair. That's right, we had to get it serviced. We uh, sent off our PS5 about two and a half weeks ago for repair. I'll tell you the story really quick. Last June we had an issue with a software update. It would download but would not install. We got the file corruption error. So I called PlayStation, they sent a uh, FedEx box out for us to ship it back out to Texas to fix it. But while waiting for the FedEx box, I said decide, hey, you know what, I'm gonna try to fix it. I was able to fix it and get it to upload and to um, install the software update. But I knew in the back of my mind that probably we're putting a band-aid on this. Something's wrong with the system. So in July, when an update came out, same thing happened. Spot corruption error. So I went in, did the exact same thing, went into safe mode, uh, cleared the cache, rebuilt the database, and it worked. However, in September is when we got another update, tried the same thing, no good. It got stuck in safe mode. It wouldn't even boot into PlayStation home screen at all. Stayed in safe mode, couldn't get it out. So I just bundled everything up back into the FedEx box. All you put in the FedEx box, by the way, is the PlayStation 5 console. No cords, no disc in the, in the drive if you have the console version. Also, the stand, take your stand off the bottom. You just send the console in. I sent it in about two and a half weeks later. Um, I got an email saying, hey, it's ready to go. They shipped it out by FedEx, and they just delivered it, like, you know, today. So we're good to go. And I did talk to the FedEx delivery guy about the process, whether they would leave the box at the door if I wasn't here. So watch this clip really quick, and you'll find out. What's going on? Good. Got a sign for it? Nice. If I wasn't here, then what would happen? Would you be able to drop it off? Uh, no, I would leave a door tag. Yeah. And then you could sign that door tag. Fantastic. Yeah, and then tomorrow it would be cool. good if you wasn't here. Fine. Right. 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 No, because it's a PlayStation 5. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> got repaired, though. It's repaired? It's broken, broken, yeah. Oh, okay. But I was worried that. You might drop it off and then I wasn't here. Or... No, nah, they're not allowed to uh, yeah. drop it off if, if, if you're not here. It's good to know, man. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Have a great day. You too. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's good news that FedEx would not leave this box at the front door. That's great news for people. So if you get the same system issue and you send it out to get repaired, at least you'll know that FedEx will not leave this system on your doorstep or someone, a porch pirate to take. That's great to know. So we're gonna open this box up. I have not opened it up yet. So I'm gonna open it in front of you guys. I've got a couple questions in my thought process here about what's in here. I'm wondering if they're gonna have a paper telling me what was wrong with it. And will they tell me what they did to repair it or did they replace any parts? I'm curious about that. I also wanna know the condition, what does it look like? Um, when I put it in, it was pretty much pristine and clean. No scratches, so I'm hoping there's no scratches on it. Also, is it my system? Because they could just give me a different system, and I don't know, but I know this. When I check the system, we will do that when I open it. I do have the original box with everything here, with all the serial numbers, so I'm gonna match them, just to make sure. And then we're gonna plug it in, and we're gonna start it up and see what happens. Let's give it a go. All right. Let's go ahead and open this box up. All right, Oop. get the paper inside, see what that's all about. Uh, nothing else in the box. Some nice packaging stuff. look pretty good. Don't see any visible scratches on this at all. And the serial number on the bottom will match that up. Let's see what's in here. It says please retain for your records 
and for warranty purposes, enclosed is your factory identified replacement or your repaired unit. Thank you for your patronage. All right, well, that's is it. I mean, it's not really, but they didn't tell me what's wrong with it, so that's kind of a bummer. But I do want to check the numbers here and see, make sure everything lines up. It looks like it probably does. It's just appeared to be my system, but I do want to check it and make sure things do line up, and I'll do that right now. All right, guys, I checked the serial numbers. They do match, so this is my PS5, and I knew it was. I mean, I do know I have some fingerprints on here, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this was my PS5 anyways, but you gotta make sure. So I did. Now it's time for the uh, all important test. We're gonna put the stand back on and plug everything in and turn it on and play some games and make sure everything is up to date. And if it needs to be updated, we'll do that right away to test it and see if we get that file corruption error again. I hope not. Hopefully this is uh, the last time we have to get this thing repaired. First and last. All right, let's give it a go. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and put the stand on. Everything is here how I left it two and a half weeks ago. Didn't move a thing. So let's go ahead and put the stand on. You always need a flathead screwdriver for that. All right, good and tight. Beautiful. All right, now let's plug everything in. Let's see where my cords are at in the back. Everything is still here. Everything has changed with that. So, I think I'll plug in the power cord first. Um, next, HDMI is kind of short, so we'll plug that in. There. And the network, plug that in. So we're good to go, all plugged in. Let's push it back like we're not gonna have to do this ever again, hopefully. I'll plug in my external, maybe afterwards. I think I'll do it afterwards. I'm gonna plug these in, Sim, because I may be, may be dead. These batteries may not even work. So but I'll plug the external in a little bit here. Let's just make sure this thing fires up first. Yeah, it looks like we got something here. Okay. Oh, so it's like we have to start back over here. There we go, this is gonna be tricky here. Let's hope this happens, man. Cross your fingers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous about this. Looks like we'll have to sign back into my account, upload the games back on there, all of my games that I had installed. It'll take for a long time. I've got Call of Duty, Gran Turismo, um, Skyrim. There's some games on here. Shh, you're kidding me. Didn't work. Wow. It didn't fix it. I had a feeling, man. I had a feeling. This is not good, man. All right, well, what are we gonna do? I, it looks like we're gonna have to call PlayStation again. Can't complete the update. Well, I'm gonna post this video anyways. I'm gonna post it about this. I gotta send it back into FedEx. I'm really pissed that PlayStation didn't maybe update the system or check it, make sure everything's gonna work fine. But obviously, we've got an issue here. I don't get it, man. So, <sighs> the saga continues with my PlayStation 5. All right, now it's in safe mode, the dreaded safe mode, and I'm updating via internet, and I've got a bad feeling it's gonna say thought corruption. What do you bet? I'm just gonna say right here and now, I'm not even, it's not even done yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna say thought corruption. And I'm pissed. I sent the box in, they knew it was wrong with it, and they didn't even test it, and update it, see if it would update. You know, that's what they should have done. You update the system. It's almost like they just reset it, but it didn't fix anything. 
what a waste of time. But they're gonna, this is gonna go back in FedEx, they'll pay for it again. In this video I'm gonna post, it's not good for PlayStation, it's not good for Sony. You know, I don't wanna be like that, but I want my game system to work, $500 on a console that's not working, that's, it's not acceptable, uh, you know? You know, I wonder if you had this problem with your PlayStation, if you, have you had this problem? I'm sure it's happened to other people. It's not like the only one that's got this error. It won't update. But I'll be calling PlayStation. I'll call them again today. I'll let you guys know, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll keep you updated on the posts. But I'm gonna post this video, and uh, it's not gonna be good. If this, I still shouldn't have to do this in safe mode. It should do this without safe mode. There's still something in there, underlying issue in there. Something underlying within it. You know, we'll see what happens. Thought corruption there, I'm betting. Put you a thousand bucks. So install and say thought corruption there. Watch. By the way, I got a haircut. It was a lot better. Let's see what happens here. This is the problem here. This is where it's gonna probably go bad. 100%, but I don't know. I still don't trust this. So let's see if it starts up now if I can get into the, the console home screen. Ridiculous stuff. Huh? We got that logo. All right, guys, we'll just sign in. I'll come back in a minute and show you if the screen works and all that. All right. We are in. All right, guys, it's up and running. I don't know how good this is going to be when it goes to update again for the software update, if it's going to crash like this again. I'm going to call uh, PlayStation Sony. I'm going to call them uh, today anyways and tell them what's going on. I might have them ship me out a FedEx box just in case. So I do want to play some games and get back on here and stuff, but I also know this is probably not a good sign when uh, I had to go in safe mode, which is weird. Why would I have to do that to update it? You shouldn't have to do that. There's something wrong with this. so. I'm gonna call them, get it fixed. But right now, I'm gonna upload some games, Astro's Playroom, um, Call of Duty, it's gonna take forever. That's, gonna, that's a good two or three hours just to get that going. Uh, and all the updates, I mean, there's a ton of updates, the season, the new season. Uh, Grand Turismo, same way. I gotta plug in my external into there so I have all that data and uh, sync everything up, so. All right, well guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll keep you updated on this. And, uh, Thank you again. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. Love you guys. Thanks.